it's Matt. Welcome back to the channel. It's finally cooling down in Northern California, not drastically, but enough to kind of get my mind thinking on backpacking or hiking or camping in colder months. And part of my sleep system and anybody's sleep system is their sleeping pad. And I personally do not own an insulated sleeping pad. And that is by design. Well, the reason why is, is because I know with a couple of things that I always have on my person when I am backpacking or hiking or camping, I can make the R value of that particular pad go up. And it's very, very simple. And I wanna show you the trick that I use when I need a more insulated sleeping pad. And it's just done with a little Mylar blanket and some tape. And like I said, I usually have both of those things on hand when needed. Now, this is the sleeping pad that I use the most, this big Angus one. It uh, has an R value probably of about 1.8, which is really just a summer pad, given that it probably only take you down to about 40 degrees comfortably. Now, I'm a hot sleeper and my logic on never buying an insulated sleeping pad is because one, it's just extra money. Uh, it's not a weight thing. It's just really because I don't want to have to buy two of these things. And I know that if I bought an insulated one when I went backpacking or camping in the summer months, this thing would probably get too hot for me. So I keep it at a low R value and I use this little trick and I'm going to show you what I do right now. Flip it over so that the bottom side is kind of like this. And then just take your Mylar blanket out of the package, and obviously you can see where this is going. And you're gonna tape it to the bottom of the sleeping pad. So the Mylar blanket in this particular case is actually bigger or rather wider than the sleeping pad and this is a 25 inch sleeping pad and it is a long that's not necessarily an issue it's actually a good thing because what i would do in this particular instance and trust me i didn't plan it to be bigger my other mylar blankets are actually <laughs> the size of the sleeping pad so a little embarrassing but you'll get the gist of what i'm talking about what you would do in this instance and i'm not going to do it right now is you would blow up the pad all of the way and then you would flip it back over and then you would tape the mylar almost on the top of or the side of the sleeping pad. And if you're familiar with insulated sleeping pads, there's a lot more than just a reflective piece of material that goes in an insulated sleeping pad, but this is exactly what it does. And this will increase your R value. I can't give you an exact number on it, but it will take you down because now your body heat is not going right through the pad, through the air to the ground where the ground is cold it's reflecting back up. And also additionally, that reflective material is reflecting the cold back down to the ground. So it's a quick little trick. Uh, it's very, very inexpensive. Emergency blankets or Mylar blankets usually go for about anywhere from, I've seen from $5 all the way up to 20. So with these two things right here, you can make your non-insulated sleeping pad insulated. Uh, you know, I didn't want to blow up the sleeping pad all the way because I don't know, I just don't have the energy to do it. I wanted you guys to get the gist of it, but relatively inexpensive, as I mentioned numerous times in this video. And for the tape recommendation, I probably would use an athletic tape uh, because you don't want anything to kind of get really sticky on your pad, uh, something that can peel off really, really easy. Um, so I would stay away from duct tape and I probably would stay away from tenacious tape as well because that's really meant to mend things. Now, one of the things that you're gonna have a drawback with when you do something like this is, you can hear it's a little bit louder than you probably want it to be, but I gotta be honest with you, there's some very high-end sleeping pads that are insulated out there that have noise issues, and they'll cost you a heck of a lot more than this will to kind of make your pad insulated. The other thing that you'll probably encounter a little bit of is that you'll probably have a little bit of slippage in the actual tent so make sure you pitch your tent in a very very flat surface flatter is you know 
give yourself more leniency, so to speak. If, if the issue is still the pad sleeping in there, you can also take some tape and actually stick your pad to the actual tent, the bottom of the tent. Um, you could not use the athletic tape for that part, but a tenacious tape or a gear tape would work pretty well. So save yourself some money, do what I do. I have used this numerous times. In fact, one time on the long trail when I was backpacking in the middle of winter, it was just a single overnight. I had to do this little trick and somebody else taught it to me, so I thought I would pass it along to you. Give it a look. Hey, thanks for watching these things. Uh, I hope to be outside as I scratch my hand and you can hear me scratching my hand. Uh, I hope to be outside sometime soon. Life has been just really super crazy. Uh, I do have another channel that if you want to find out what's going on in my life, I'll link it somewhere up here. Thanks for watching these things. Hope everyone's having a great day. Talk to you soon.